Hello and welcome to edupediaworld.com. So friends, in the second video of gravitation, we are going to talk about uh, the concept of free fall. We'll also talk about what is the difference between mass and weight. So let's move on and let's first talk about free fall. So what is free fall? Now we have studied that the earth attracts every object towards itself. So if we throw a ball upwards and the ball is going to come down to the earth. Now this force of attraction is known as the gravitational force or the gravity. Over here the person is throwing a ball and the ball goes and uh, he catches the ball from the other hand. So the ball comes from top to bottom. Right now, why is it that this ball is falling from up to down? This is because of the force of gravity or the gravitational force. Now, anything when you throw upward comes down, it is because it is under the influence of gravity and no other force. Right now, we take another example if we throw a watermelon from some distance, let's say 100 meters, it comes down, it breaks. Right, but what is the direction of this watermelon or for that matter what is the direction of the ball both the objects actually they follow one single direction that is from top to bottom that is direction does not change direction remains same in both the cases right so any object which comes down only under the influence of gravity is supposed to be a free falling body it is supposed to be under free fall. Now let's take another example. There is a, a paratrooper and the paratrooper is falling. Let's say he jumps from an aircraft and he comes down. So to some distance he comes down only under the force of gravity. He does not take out his parachute. Right at some height from the earth he opens his parachute. So till such time he does not open his parachute he falls freely under the force of gravity. So now the acceleration with which the object is falling under the force of gravity is known as the acceleration due to gravity, right? And the value of this acceleration due to gravity is g is equal to 9.8 meters per second square. Now why do we define here the acceleration under gravity is because see whenever there is anything falling the direction does not change. So the direction remains same. But what changes is the velocity and when there is change in the velocity there is always a change in the acceleration right and what is this acceleration this acceleration is due to the gravitation force or due to the gravity this acceleration is therefore known as the acceleration due to gravity which is 9.8 meters per second square right and the value of this g will be same for all the bodies which are falling under gravity. Now, we take an example of uh, an elephant which has a bigger mass and we take a small person, let's say a boy or anybody who is jumping, who is falling, he will have a small mass, right? The mass of the elephant will be more. Now, we have learned that small g is always capital F by M, that is force divided by the mass of the object right this will also be force divided by mass of this boy or a person so this will always be the same because the mass of the elephant is uh, more the force with which it is coming down will also be more so when you divide capital m by the mass of the elephant or when you divide this force by which it is coming down divided by the mass of this person it will always be constant which will come out to be 9.8 meters per second square if they are freely falling. So that is why g will always be constant anywhere on the earth. Another example we say a small a stone and a big stone. So the mass of the small stone will always be small and the mass of the bigger stone will be bigger than the smaller stone. So when you divide the force with which the bigger stone is coming down divided by its mass and the force with which the smaller stone is coming down divided by its mass 
then it will always be constant you know because they are always balanced by the mass and the force so the division of these two quantities will always be 9.8 meters per second square right so g is always constant now here when we talk about uh, free fall we need to discuss the concept of mass and weight of the body also what do you think is the difference between the two terms mass and weight because scientifically when we talk about these two terms there is lot of difference so let's say the stone with which it comes down the bigger stone comes down as capital f and let's say a smaller stone comes down will uh, let's say small f so what is the weight of the object the weight of the object is actually the force with which it is pulled downwards that is the weight of the object let's say it is a bigger w and a smaller w right because it is small in uh, size so it will be pulled with a lesser force so its weight will also be lesser so what is mass if we compare these two stones then mass is the actual amount of the material contained in a body and is measured in kgs or grams so what is mass mass is a matter contained in the body is mass but what is weight weight is the force which is exerted by the gravity on the object f is equal to m into g so weight will always include mass and the acceleration due to gravity so now if i take two exactly identical objects any two identical objects will have same mass but what will be the difference the difference will be in their weight if they are at two separate places let's say one is at um, on the earth and one is on the moon or one is on the some other planet right they will be difference because weight will always involve the acceleration due to gravity and acceleration due to gravity is different at different places on the earth it is same but on moon and on the earth it will be different right so that is where the difference lies again mass is independent of everything it is the matter contained in the body but weight is different on earth and the moon because it involves acceleration due to gravity right now let's now talk about weight we know that force is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity the weight is also the force with which it is pulled downwards right so we can write w is equal to m into g also weight of an object on the earth will be different from weight on the moon or on any other planet now you understand the difference between weight and mass because on the moon the value of small g will be much much lesser than the value of g on the earth that's why this w will be lesser now because we said that the value of g will be much lesser on the moon and therefore the weight on the moon will be much lesser for any object as compared to its weight on the earth so let's calculate what is the mass of any object on the moon or on the earth right now let's say i have an object and mass of the object is small m and we have our earth here let's say the weight of uh, this object the yellow color object that we see here the weight is w e that is on the earth radius of the earth is capital r and mass of the earth is capital m now we take another case let's say the same object whose weight was w e now the same object when taken to the moon let's say we consider that the weight of this object on the moon is w m the radius of the moon is r m and the mass of the moon is capital m small m right so you understand now this is the case that we are considering so what we do we first write with the law of gravitation f is equal to capital g into small m into m divided by r square so between this object and the moon what is the force of gravitation that is capital g is the constant gravitational constant capital m small m is the mass of the moon small m is the actual mass of this object 
so small m divided by r m square because this is the radius of the moon so now forget about this case the case on the earth and this object separately now we considering only this portion we considering only when the object is on the moon we are writing what is the force between them so the force is this and why are we writing here rm is because this is the radius of the moon and this object is right on the moon here now similarly this f can be substituted by wm because this is actually the force with which the object will be pulled towards the moon will be its weight wm because we said weight is nothing but it is the force with which it will pull towards the earth or the any other planet right so we can substitute this wm in place of force similarly we can write what is the weight of this object on the earth also weight will also be we is equal to capital g capital m because is the mass of the earth small m because this is the mass of the object divided by r square now when we write both the equations you have to keep one thing in mind this is mass of the object small m but this is weight of the object on the moon when we consider the case of the earth this is the mass of the object but this is the weight of the object right that is where the difference lies now we know all these values we know the mass and the radius of both the earth and the moon so because we need to find what is the ratio of the weight of the object on earth with that of the moon so we will divide wm by we both the equations we will divide here and we'll cancel out the common terms here right and this capital g will get cancelled m will get cancelled we will and we substitute the values of the mass of the moon mass of the earth radius of the moon and radius of the earth in this equation and this is what we get weight on the moon divided by its weight on the earth will be equal to 1 by 6 this shows that the weight of the object on the moon is 1/6 of its weight on the earth right so let's say if a person is weighing 60 kg is here then on the moon he will weigh only 10 kg because it will be 1/6 of its weight on the earth so and why is this difference is because of the difference in the acceleration due to gravity i hope uh, you must have understood uh, the concept of free fall the concept of mass and weight so thank you for watching edupedia world videos